Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a hand aid use on. If you guys have a hand aid use on and you have a, a exhaust leak, we will explain the most common places where you can develop exhaust leak. Okay, and one of those is probably nine out of ten times. So stay with us until the end. We will explain what it is. That should work on multiple engines, years, and generation of hand aid use on. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repairs videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain okay what can cause easily exhaust leaks okay on the so so here, okay, uh, uh, here that's the exhaust system, that's the engine with the exhaust system almost all the way to the back. There is only one muffler left. So, what we can expect here, guys, okay, if you look at the car, one place where you can develop is the, uh, is the exhaust, okay, manifold gasket, which is right there underneath. We'll have a special video that explains the symptoms of bad exhaust manifold gasket, okay, and what to expect. If that gasket fails, you hear kind of like a ticking noise and it will increase with the RPMs. This is not very common unless somebody worked on the engine and actually removed the exhaust, didn't replace the gasket or didn't get it tied up to specs. Number two, guys, you have another gasket right here, okay, after the manifold and one right here before the catalytic converter. This is your flex pipe right here. That allows the okay the uh, exhaust to move, okay the engine to move, okay. So the exhaust stays fixed, but the engine moves uh, when you shift gears, when you take turns. That's why you have that flex pipe. So super important, guys. Okay, if somebody replaces that uh, flex pipe to use new gaskets and get it tied up to specs, otherwise you can easily develop uh, leaks here. The most common leak that we notice on these Hyundai vehicles, guys, on higher mileage vehicles, is the flex pipe itself. What happens? Okay, it's constantly moving, exposed to enormous amount of heat, and all that movement, eventually it will crack, and it will develop exhaust leak. That's the most common one that we see here at the shop. Another place that you need to check is uh, oxygen sensors. This is upstream oxygen sensor, downstream oxygen sensor. If they're loose, you can easily develop exhaust leak as well. Now, if you have uh, stock catalytic converters, you shouldn't worry about exhaust leaks from the catalytic converters unless somebody cut it to replace it or something like that. Next, it will be your mufflers. That's where, okay, you can develop those as well. You have one muffler here and one after the back and one gasket between the two, you can see. So everywhere you have a gasket or flex pipe, guys, I would start inspecting there. Usually when you have exhaust leak, you have a brown, black spot where the exhaust used to come out of. So you will easily be able to identify where the leak is coming from. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.